The satellites we launch end up living in a box around 150 kilometers wide, 36,000 kilometers above the equator. If several satellites occupy the same box, they form a cluster in geostationary orbit, all pretty much the same distance from the Earth, traveling at pretty much the same speed. We call this clustering of satellites co-location. The zone where the co-located satellites live is called an orbital slot. If a satellite experiences a problem, others in the same orbital slot are in a position to take over, which means high reliability can be guaranteed. It also means there's plenty of capacity for lots of channels and services that need a bit more bandwidth, like high-definition television. All the channels that live on satellites in the same orbital slot make up a channel neighborhood. And that allows TV viewers at home to pick up many channels from more than one satellite via a single rooftop dish. In ground control centers around the world, teams of highly skilled engineers are keeping the satellites in exactly the right place. Our entire satellite fleet consists of several orbital slots with as many as eight satellites in each. Each satellite has between 1,000 and 5,000 parameters that must be monitored and controlled from the ground. Considering that a 0.1 degree error in the pointing of an antenna corresponds to a 70 kilometer shift in the footprint on Earth, the positioning of satellites is very important. The position is controlled by tweaking the speed in orbit via thrusters supplied with an onboard fuel reserve. With this method, the engineers can keep the position of the satellite in space accurate to within less than a single meter. <laughs> 